Hey, what's up, Geeks? Deron here. In this video, we're going to cover the React Native Testing Library. Now, the React Native Testing Library is something I use in my professional work. And I think it's a tool that you guys should get familiar with. When you apply for a job, companies will love it if you have any kind of testing knowledge. They're going to ask you about Jest, and they're going to ask you, how do you use it? They're going to ask you about some of the built-in functions associated with Jest. And if you, if you have some good knowledge or some background on React Native Testing Library itself, that's going to go a long way. So in this video, we're going to go through React Native Testing Library just briefly. I want to give you a feel for how it works. And if you like it, let me know. I do not mind putting something extra together for you guys. Also, if you want access to any of the code associated in these videos, subscribe to the Patreon. In the Patreon, you get access to all repos, and you also have uh, access to me directly. You will be invited to our Slack channel, and you can communicate with me or any other developer within our community. That way you can get help on your personal projects, and you can help speed up your React Native journey. Also, if you're interested in any React Native courses, there are links to courses in the description as well. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay guys, so right now I'm at the React Native Testing Library website. I've already installed React Native Test Library in my, library in my project, but here is the, uh, the command to actually install the library. There's also a lot of references to how you make queries and the, the functions that you would actually use to, um, to create those tests. But anyways, let's get into our project. Now, you take a look at the screen, it's a pretty simple application. We have a, a, a image, we have a title, description, and a button. If we take a look at the code, you can see that our image has a testing ID, our text has a testing ID, and our button has a testing ID. Now, one thing I also wanted to let you know, if you're, once you install this library, there's a, another command that it tells you to do. And I want to make sure that you know not to do it. This setup. Don't do it. It's already it's, your 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 project's already fine. All you have to do is do the yarn install or npm install. You'll be fine. But anyways, back to the code. So these test ID properties they're built into every component. So this isn't something that you have to create or um, compile. It's already built into React Native itself. You just have to reference the property and pass in its string value. Now. When you build your React Native project, it comes with the testing directory and it has the app.js file already built into it. Now what I'm gonna do with these tests that we're gonna create in this video is that I'm gonna reference the test IDs in the app.js file and based off the test ID, ID that's returned, I'm gonna make sure that components are coming through properly on the screen. All right, so let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to test is our image. You want to make sure that our image is actually coming through to the application. So I'm going to say it should render React Native image. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to call my component. Well, first I'm going to import actually the render function from the testing library itself. So we're gonna say at testing library react native I'm going to grab the render function and I'm also going to grab fire event. Okay, nice. Now within our render function, we're going to call our app.js file. So I'm going to pass in my component. So now our component is actually being rendered. And what we want to do, we want to get our components uh, test ID. So we're going to use the function get by test ID. Okay. So we're going to try to get the image. We're going to set the image equal to get by test ID. We're going to pass in our test ID image.
Now we're going to take that image value and actually create a test to make sure to verify that that image is actually that image actually exists. So expect image to be truthy. Now I'm going to go back to my directory and I'm going to run the command yarn test. Should run the React Native image. Our test is correct. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to create a false value. So I'm going to say not be truthy, just so you can verify that it's working. As you can see, that basically it does exist the image is actually there it's not um it's not a false a false positive so oh yeah i'm gonna go back to our code and i'm going to continue to create the rest of our test so next i'm going to test for the title so get by test id this time we're going to use the function get by text okay and the text we're looking for is react native get by text title title now we're going to should render react native title Go ahead and run this test. I forgot to update that test. Let me go ahead to be truthy, to be truthy. Okay, now let's try that again. And now our tests are passing. I'm gonna go ahead and add tests, two more tests. We'll test for the description. We're going to do get by test ID. And this is going to be description one. And do the same thing for description two. And let's take a look at our test IDs. Yes, description one and description two. Okay, awesome. Now the last thing we're actually going to test is our button now when we test our button we're going to expect to get a console log to show that the button is pressed so that's how we know our event is actually firing which is going to give us a successful pass now the fire event function that we're going to use for this is usually what's used when you do any kind of action on your screen and you can make it way more complex than what we're going to do in this uh, short tutorial. But fire event is something that's uh, very helpful and something I have to do when I'm testing authentication or any other type of functionality within the application. So should render react native button. And I'm going to say goodbye test ID. And unlike our other test, I'm only going to do the fire event. So I'm going to say fire event dot press and with them our press I'm going to pass in the get by test ID function and button so we're going to press our button now when we actually run this in a terminal
as you can see, our button was pressed and we have the console log. So the console log verifies that our event actually fired. So I know that was a short tutorial, but the point of this video was to introduce you to React Native Testing Library. Your application already comes pre-built with Jest, but a lot of companies right now are moving their testing development into the React Native Testing Library. So it's something that you should know and get familiar with. And as I stated before, if you want access to any code on this channel, you have to be a Patreon member. You get access to all repos and you also have access to our Slack where you can contact me directly. And also if you need any additional help, there's courses, there's courses in the description below as well. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.